Yeah, um, I don't know. What? Um, I don't know. What the fuck? You guys, today we'll be working with Windows 2000 in 2020. This old thing. I am so pissed at this stupid old thing. I don't even know how Windows 2000 still works on my computer. I can't even install Mozilla Firefox. Actually, I did, but what the? Um, uh, system could not log you on. Make sure your username and domain are correct. I have to. It is corrected. The password is nothing. And this is what it, this was what it said. <laughs> say Windows 2000, well, I'm using professional. Well, they couldn't have just said professional, they have to actually say 2K because they're too lazy to actually type or code it that way. Anyways, so here's Windows 2000. I just wanted to quickly show you guys what it's like. So let's start. What we've all been waiting for. Beautiful. So I'm gonna quickly hook up a keyboard and I'll be right back with you guys. So we are just done with we have a keyboard. I think. Yeah. By the way, I sure don't even know why I'm using this keyboard. It's just a Windows 10 logo, but sadly, there is not Windows 10 logo, there is a Windows 2000. Especially on this computer. It has a Windows, I think that's an XP logo, I'm not totally sure. But yeah. So, I just wanted to show you guys first what it's like to use Windows XP. I mean, Windows 2000. So, we do have Chromium, Mozilla Firefox, and Internet Explorer on this. One thing I just wanted to mention is that Windows 2000 doesn't even take up that much into installation space. As you can see, that's all we have downloaded. And if we quickly go to the local disk, as you can see, we've only used 3 gigabytes. And on this computer, it's like 75 gigabytes. This was meant for like Windows, I think XP or Windows Vista, but you know what? This computer does do very good on seven, uh, 2000, so I think I'm gonna put it to Windows uh, Vista soon. So, I'm just gonna quickly launch Internet Explorer and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to do a little researching on there. So first it goes to some annoying Microsoft website that doesn't even log on. So I'm going to quickly get the heck out of there. And I'm going to go to try to go to Google.com, even if Google.com isn't even a possible website. Google. It actually shows up as Google.com, so I'm going to launch Google. First website, we do get to Google. Now I'm gonna launch YouTube. Special YouTube. So 
So we do get to YouTube peacefully. But the only thing is, when you go to YouTube, you come up with an error that can't be displayed. So that's, that's fail number one. Next, let's try to go to Google the Drive. So here's Google Drive. Nope. Next, we're going to try going to Facebook, which is the next challenge. That's failed too. Yep. Next, we're gonna try going to. Let's see. What should we go to? Let's try going to Microsoft.com. Microsoft could not just betray themselves, I don't think. And if they do, yeah, that's kind of screwed up. So let's just see. Microsoft did screw themselves up, but not so at least. Let's see if we can even go to. Um, the most famous website of all, <sighs> Twitter. Twitter. Let's... Nope. Why can't we get on anything in here? This is really bad. So, Internet Explorer totally failed our test. So, bye bye for there. Next, we're going to be trying out Mozilla Firefox version 5.0, I think. I'm going to look at it quick. So let me quickly look at the version. We are 5.0. So let's first, what do we try out first? We first we tried YouTube. So I'm going to be trying YouTube first. Oh. Guys, by the way, I tried this already, so don't get all mad if I tried it already. Okay. So let's go to YouTube. Looks like this might actually work. So it gives me an error that I can't go on because it's a certificate, but I'm just going to click cancel. Oh, guys, we did get onto YouTube, but it just says that I can't go on. Oh, maybe it is working. So let's try it out. I'm gonna actually go to my channel and see if my channel will pop up. And I will give you some points if my channel pops up and I'm able to see my subscriber count. Because as you know, videos are probably not even work on this, so. Yeah, so I can't see my channel, I can't see my logo. I can click on my logo, it's like, it's there, but like, I can't really see it. Oh, look at that. It does show my subscriber count and it does show my video. Let me see if it shows my videos. It does show my videos, but it doesn't really show what they're called. Oh, that's my other video. It doesn't show all my videos, but let's see if it shows my about. It does show my about. And it says when I joined and everything. So, let me see if it says what I subscribed to. It does show what I subscribed to. Wow, this thing's actually not that bad. So, let me actually see something else. Here. I'm going to see if I can actually play a video on this computer. So, while we're at it, I want to actually see if we can get access to Amazon. Let's see, I understand the risks, add exception, and confirm sex security exception. I want to see if Amazon, Amazon does not even work, wait, it kind of works? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Let's try adding it to cart. Uh, oh, look at that. It added it to the cart. Let me see if I can purchase it. Actually, buy it to cart. It just shows these random requests. Let me see if I could click on... I have no idea what this is going on. Should I try loading the page? I'm going to try loading the page. Okay, sure. Well, I'll, I'll buy, as long as I get it reset. Alright, so... I'm just gonna say it's something good. Oh, it actually shows an image now of stuff. It's actually pretty cool. So I'll give that a one. I'll give it points for that. So that's good. This still didn't load, so it doesn't get points. Actually, it does get points because it showed up my channel, but it doesn't get points for other things. Now we're gonna be trying out Google Drive, what we've been waiting for. YouTube Google Drive. Drive.google.com. Alright, so it just gives me this error again that's kind of annoying sometimes. I'm just gonna click add exception again. Confirm security exception. 
You're gonna have to do this a lot of times when you get on websites. It's gonna be annoying. Update your browser. That's not an exception. It didn't tell me to update my browser. Next, we're gonna try going on Facebook. As you know, guys, Facebook is very famous. So let's see if we get Facebook. Let's see. It's been a very long time. Okay, so let's click on Facebook. I think it might work. I'm not totally sure. I didn't test this one out yet. Facebook. Um. What the? Okay. It makes me. What the? What the? This doesn't even work. What the? Okay. All right. Facebook did not pass. Now let's try to go to Twitter. The stupidest website. Best website ever. <laughs> Nothing. Connection was reset. It didn't work. So, for Firefox, it did okay. You know, some websites work, some didn't. So, let's go on to Chromium. Chromium doesn't even work. Ugh, stupid sound. Come on! What the hell? Uh, yes, it is. Why, it's, why are you here? If it's I not got a valid, so mad because it's a valid 32 application, and I got so freaking mad. Now we can't even do our test on this. Anyway, as long as it doesn't work, I'm just going to restart it, and that's it. Shut it down. Actually. All right, that is so stupid. So, Windows 2000 is definitely not obsolete today, so don't get to use it. It sticks so bad. 